I couldn't think Chris is midfielder actually. He'll play nicely, get through the midfield, so keep an eye out for him. Yeah. We're here at the town ground where Hina have just beat Hinkley AFC 5-1. Three goals coming from Nathan Benger and a brace from Kieran De Brower. Now with me I've got manager Glenn Clarence, assistant manager Steve Hamilton and the guy who's been looking around for a match ball for the last 20 minutes, Nathan Benger. So Glenn, I'll come straight to you. The expectation after Friday night's game was that we were competitive, that we give Hinkley a game. How happy are you after that result tonight? Obviously happy turning him into the next round. Um, Good luck. long eating, which will be a tough test. The expectation was there Friday night too, which I don't think we had a go first half, but we let them build into the game and concede a sloppy corner, so that was the message tonight, to start brightly and then look after yourselves after that, get something to look after. I thought we looked after, tried to look after a 0-0 draw in first half the other night, which was not good enough, so yes, we went out there with attacking impetus, um, with what we're trying to build, honest, hard-working players. Some young, some raw, some experienced, but yeah, it's what we've seen in pre-season, it's what we're trying to build and it paid off tonight. Obviously, it's not good to concede, but there were circumstances, we took players off, resting players for Saturday, ended up playing last 20 minutes with 10 men, because we made three changes early, so all in all, a good night, decent win, good performance and into the next round. That's all that matters. Brilliant. Okay, Nathan. Um, Forgive me if I'm quoting something that was off of the podcast. You've just said it's been coming. It's long overdue. Performance tonight, three goals. You you know what you can do. And I think you've proved a few people wrong tonight, maybe. How's it felt? Yeah, it was good. It was good to play and uh, good to get back playing. Missed quite a bit of pre-season, um, personally, for different reasons. But just good to get playing and, um, you know, just hitting the back of the net. There's no feeling like it. And, um, but more importantly, uh, we win, we're into the next round of the FA Cup, uh, a little bit of money for the club, but more importantly, the team spirit, the lads getting together and um, just a great performance by everybody. Brilliant, OK, obviously we're going up against Long Eaton in the next round, I know we've got a couple of games in between now and then, how great is that going to be for both teams coming up against each other in that? Yeah, it'd be great to play Long Eaton, but our focus is Saturday at Alba Church now, and uh, we want three points there, kickstart the season, the league season, and um, really give it a good go in the league, and hopefully come back with some silverware, and uh, believe we can do it with a bunch of lads we've got. OK, Steve, I know Nathan has just mentioned Saturday there. Alva Church, last season was horrible. Um, not just the weather, not just the travelling, the fact that we had to play with severely weakened team. Now we're going into that prepared. 
I think that's fair to say. Um, we've got a style of play that we've maybe not seen for a little while of the Town. What what preparation have we got from tonight on Saturday? Well, I mean, I think uh, I think if, if we get ourselves right, then we'll be a match for anybody this uh, this season, and and we shouldn't fear anybody. Uh, Alf Church, absolute respect, a good side. We had a right undinger uh, against mm. them last uh, last season, but uh, if we if we get if we get ourselves right, if we concentrate on what we're doing, not on what Alf Church do, then we'll be a match for anybody this season without any shadow of a doubt. Brilliant, Glenn. Um, Steve's comments there, I think he's feeling on quite nicely tonight. Will be a match for anybody. Now we've played 180 minutes of football before we've even kicked a ball in the league. What what would be your expectation of the first few games? Is it just to show us exactly what we're about? Um, well, obviously when the, when the fixtures come out, you, you speak to your fellow managers. I spoke to Al Church's manager, spoke to Kelsey's manager, spoke to Colesdale's manager, a couple of others. Again, repeated what we said last season. It's a good, tough league. It's a good standard of football. And... I don't think we've been given the easiest start, but you have to play them, simple as that. If we want to be up there, we've got to play the best and beat the best. So, But again, touching on tonight, we played some fantastic football, and we, we said this at half-time, we've played fantastic football in the last three years. It's, it's more than fantastic football. It's togetherness, it's organisation, it's team spirit, it's a bit of nice, and I, I think that's what we've built on, you, you said before, the, before the podcast came on, Tony, some, fan, some fans were saying, We've not made big yeah. signings this season. We haven't made big signings this season. Our loads of big signings because we trust what we've got and we think what we've got is what we've lacked in the last three years. And don't get me wrong, we've not kicked the ball in the, in the season yet, so we've got to prove that. But don't get me wrong, like Amos said, we will be a match for anyone on a day. Um, but I'll turn to favourites really. Make no bones about it. They, they finish with over 100 points, do they? Any other season, that's promotion, isn't it? So. Yes, we're going to Alf Church, mindful that they are probably the fav favourites for the league. But if we get what we are trying to do right, week in, week out, we'll take them all the way. But it's it's one game, it's the start to the season. Um, it's a tough start and that's how we like it. Brilliant. Thanks for your time, gents. Go.